Ramnath Goenka, our founder and the guiding spirit in our newsroom, would not have approved of a lecture where the host can mute you. So we waited for Bill Gates to come in person, and here he is. Bill Gates comes to them with a sense of hope. And with the two things he has in unlimited supply, it's not money. Welcome to the fifth Ramnath Goenka Memorial Lecture, the first since the world changed sometime in January 2020. For all these years, we did, we did every event online except this, because Ramnath Goenka, our founder and the guiding spirit in our newsroom, would not have approved of a lecture where the host can mute you. At the Indian Express, we are suspicious of that power. So we waited for Bill Gates to come in person, and here he is. You know, I was very tempted to use ChatGPT or Bing AI <laughs> to get some welcome notes for Bill Gates, but I resisted. I went completely analog. I went to my 30-year-old bookshelf and I picked up his almost 30-year-old book, the first book called The Road Ahead. It's in hard copy. It still has the, the 1995 cash memo I got from a, a Mumbai airport bookstore. The book is spot on, as you all know. It's on the future of the net and its potential to change every aspect of our lives. But what is striking to me are the questions he left in the book. And I'm going to quote them verbatim. What will happen to our jobs? How will I fit into the evolving economy? Will we withdraw from the physical world into our vicarious worlds? What does it mean to live a documented life? And the one that directly links to the subject of his lecture, will the gulf between the haves and the have-nots widen irreparably? 30 years later, these questions look as if they were written this morning. And especially this evening, as in a couple of hours, less than a mile from where we sit, the G20 foreign ministers are sitting to discuss a war that rages, that has already killed thousands and has made more than 8 million people refugees. This gives these questions that Bill Gates raised in his first book a ring of urgency and sometimes despair. But Bill Gates comes to them with a sense of hope. And with the two things he has in unlimited supply, it's not money. It is science and it is hope. And he has fashioned them into a powerful tool. In his new book, he writes, innovation is my hammer and I try to use it on every nail I see. He sees nails everywhere. He sees them in environment in public health, in HIV, in gender equity, to sanitation, vaccine research, even to teaching linear algebra. These nails under Mr. Gates's hammer get shaped into pegs for social change. And most importantly, in a world of deep divisions, these secure and expand the common good. We are absolutely sure in a world when we are not sure of anything, there is one thing we are sure of, that Bill Gates will keep saying more and more such nails. Because as he writes, 
and it's that's one of my favorite lines from his first book he says i am squinting into the future and i'm going to catch that first revealing hint of revolutionary possibilities that is bill gates squinting in the into the future so that he can blur the lines in the way only he can so that he can frame for us the big picture we are very privileged this evening to get a peek into that squint please join me in welcoming mr gates to deliver the fifth ramnath goindamayuri lecture